young guy brimming with talent suddenly passes with a whole life ahead of him. This plot does sound like a movie, but it's not. This happened to Joe Mercer, Bob Marley's grandson. But we're not just going to discuss the news. Today's video is different as I want to pay tribute to a talent lost too soon. Hi Lola, my love, oh your body shape like a buckle of Coca-Cola. Feel free to call me from above your Motorola. Join me as I explore the life of Joseph Joe Mercer Marley, grandson of the iconic Bob Marley. Born into a family steeped in musical legacy, Joe Mercer was destined for greatness. From a young age, he graced stages alongside his legendary relatives, captivating audiences with his infectious energy and love for music. However, life can be cruel and tragedy struck when Joe Mercer abruptly passed away just one day after Christmas. He was only 31, and his departure echoed the loss felt years prior with his grandfather's passing at 36. Ja! Rastafari. Stay tuned as I delve into his iconic life and the perplexing circumstances surrounding his departure. On December 27, 2022, Joe Mercer's death was confirmed by his representative. When the news first got out, it was shrouded in mystery. Naturally, fans and reggae enthusiasts gave rise to much controversy and debate, and it was after six whole months that the true cause behind the musician's death was revealed. Born into reggae royalty, Joe Mercer was a talented musician who followed in his grandfather's footsteps, contributing to the genre with his unique style. Reports in June 2023 suggested he had succumbed to what initially appeared to be a common cold. However, a subsequent report in December 2022 indicated that the Jamaican-American reggae artist had passed away after suffering from an asthma attack. Joe Mercer Marley's passing resonated deeply with reggae fans worldwide. While many recognized him as the grandson of the legendary Bob Marley, his memory transcends that association. He was a gifted artist who carved his own path within the genre, which was not an easy task. It's true that belonging to such a prominent musical family presents unique challenges. Stepping out of such a long shadow could easily overwhelm even the most talented individual. Yet Joe Mercer carried the weight of his heritage with remarkable grace. He didn't try to imitate his grandfather's sound. Instead, he infused his own personality and experiences into his music, creating something fresh and exciting. His songs resonated with audiences worldwide, offering a modern perspective grounded in the core values of reggae, love, unity, and social justice. Let's learn more about his early life and career. Early life and career. On March 12, 1991, Stephen Marley and Curtia de Costa Marley welcomed their firstborn. Being a part of the Marley family, Joe Mercer's exposure to the industry began at a very young age. He loved joining his family members, including his father Stephen and Uncle Ziggy Marley, on stage. By the age of four, he was already performing in front of audiences with his adorably enthusiastic performances. I mean, only a member of Bob's family could truly accomplish such a feat. That's something that probably runs in their genes. At 11, Joe Mercer moved to Miami where he closely observed his father and uncle Damien creating music in Lion's Den studio. Throughout his life, he learned only from the best, and no wonder he became the best too. In an interview with The Rolling Stone, while talking about the time, Stephen said, It was a very magical thing, seeing those people come around to the house and how the whole work process would happen. I would come home and try to do homework, but I'd end up getting distracted and go peek in the studio. This makes it clear how much fun Joe was having in that studio too. It was something the Marleys were enjoying and Joe was absorbing it all. Unlike many children who came from famous families, Joe Mercer never exploited his privilege. He kept his education as a priority and only utilized breaks and vacations to travel and experience the musical world. 
Joe Mercer's interest in music production took an all-time high at around the age of 11. As he was experimenting with beats, using MPCs, and later transitioning to Garage Band on an Apple laptop during the Melody Maker's Roots Rock Tour. His debut EP, Comfortable, released in spring 2014 on Ghetto Youths International, showcased his versatility, incorporating pop, hip-hop, EDM, and dancehall influences. The EP's success was marked by its club-friendly tracks, notably the title track, Comfortable, produced by Damian Marley. Interestingly, Joseph Marley's nickname, Mercer, was also inspired by football, just like his father and grandfather. He got the nickname Joe Mercer from Jamaican footballer Alan Skill Cole, a friend of his grandfather. Cole saw Joseph's determined playing style like a boxer in the ring and started calling him Joe Mercer after a UK boxer. And that name stuck. Other than that, he wasn't really forced to get into music. Just as we say some things are planned by the universe, his journey as an artist was a personal choice encouraged by his father, and by 19, he released his first single, My Girl, featuring his cousin, Daniel Bambata Mali. The comfortable EP, featuring tracks like Bogus, Perfect Ten, All To Me and Sunshine, demonstrated Joe Mercer's great songwriting and musical production skills. So people knew that he had this innate talent in him, and it wasn't something that his family forced him into. Sunshine. The intimate lyrics of Sunshine were inspired by singing to his baby sister Mia, revealing a personal touch to his music. His hands-on approach to music production, collaborating with his father's keyboard players Riff Raff and Stephen Marley, emphasized his commitment to creating unique sounds. Joe Mercer's role in building the EP's rhythms showcased his growth as an artist performing the entire Comfortable EP on Stephen Marley's Revelation. Part to two, the Fruit of Life tour marked a significant step in Joe Mercer's career. Despite his familial musical legacy, he aimed to establish himself as an individual artist while contributing to the Marley legacy. Joe Mercer Marley's dedication to music and his determination to build upon his family's influential legacy reflected in his statement. I am just getting started. I am just getting comfortable. Mercer was married to Kiara, and they were blessed with a beautiful daughter. Kiara Marley, Joe Mercer's wife, deliberately maintained a low profile despite occasional appearances on his social media. Her choice for privacy kept much of her personal life away from the public eye, setting her apart from the more publicly visible Marley family. But Mercer was expressive about his love for his family. In a heartfelt gesture on Mother's Day in 2022, Joe Mercer openly expressed his gratitude for Kiara. This post not only conveyed his appreciation, but also highlighted her resilience and unconditional love. The public acknowledgement showed a deep connection and shared intimacy that went beyond the scrutiny of the outside world. In the middle of their private lives, Joe Mercer and Kiara found joy in the arrival of their daughter, Sunshine Marley, born on January 27, 2016. Although the family wasn't keen on sharing their private lives with the public, fans often found glimpses of a happy family on social media, Marley family's musical legacy. Bob Marley, who is hailed as the greatest reggae musician of all time, left a great mark on the world of music. Born on February 6, 1945 in Jamaica, Marley's iconic songs like Buffalo Soldier and No Woman, No Cry continue to resonate, immortalizing the sound of his homeland. Marley's influence extends beyond his music, branching into a rich family tree. In 1966, he married Rita Anderson in Kingston, Jamaica, and together they had four children. Marley's official website acknowledges a total of 11 children, each contributing uniquely to various fields. Among Marley's children, Ziggy Marley stands out. Born in 1968, Ziggy is a singer, songwriter, and actor, leading the band 
Ziggy Marley and the Melody Makers. His solo career earned him eight Grammy Awards, perpetuating the Marley musical tradition. Another prominent figure is Damian Marley, born to Bob and Cindy Breakspear. A four-time Grammy Award winner, Damian collaborates with global artists, continuing the family's impact on reggae music. Amidst the celebration of the Marley legacy, a shadow loomed over the family with the tragic demise of Joe Mercer. Let's talk about how that happened, the passing of Joe Mercer Marley. Now hold on to your hearts as we explain how the young man passed. Initially, the cause of Joe Mercer's death was not disclosed, adding a layer of mystery to the already sad situation. People were shocked. I mean, it is very weird to see a young guy pass away like this let alone pass away unexpectedly. But after some investigation, the police came to the conclusion that it was indeed a normal death, refuting any doubts about it being a murder or accident. The sudden and unforeseen nature of his passing intensified the emotional impact on his family, friends and fans across the globe. It does sound a bit fishy too, Looks like it wasn't a natural death. Maybe someone did something to him? You never know with public figures. But here is what we know about his death till now. As per records from the Miami-Dade Medical Examiner's Office, Joe Mercer Marley passed away because of a severe worsening of asthma caused by a common cold virus. The 31-year-old grandson of Bob Marley was discovered unresponsive in his car at a parking lot near a Ross dress for less store. Despite efforts to perform CPR, he was declared dead at the scene. Marley's health history played a significant role in this tragic incident. Facing health issues like asthma, bronchitis, and pneumonia, Joe Mercer Marley, unfortunately, wasn't using his asthma medication when needed. In March 2022, he had a hospital visit due to a chest abscess, highlighting ongoing health struggles. It's a reminder of the importance of managing health conditions and seeking timely medical care. Let's take a moment to understand the significance of staying on top of our health and being vigilant about necessary treatments. On Christmas Day, Joe Mercer Marley informed his mother that he wasn't feeling well, attributing it to his asthma. Unfortunately, the subsequent toxicology report revealed the presence of THC, which is a component of marijuana, naloxone, and 0.08% ethanol in his system. This information sheds some light on the complexities of his health situation and underscores the importance of understanding the factors that can impact one's well-being. It serves as a reminder of the significance of open communication about health concerns and the potential effects of substances on our bodies. This unfortunate incident emphasizes the critical need for effectively managing chronic health conditions and seeking appropriate medical care. While his absence brings sadness, his music continues to bring joy and inspiration. Let's honor his memory by diving into his work and the legacy he leaves behind. But before I do that, I want to explain reggae to the newbies here. After all, Joe had deep connection with this genre of music throughout his life. Reggae music, born in Jamaica in the late 1960s, soon became a global cultural phenomenon. It features a distinct offbeat rhythm and a prominent bass guitar, creating a recognizable and hypnotic groove. The slow tempo and laid-back feel invite listeners to immerse themselves in its soothing vibe. Reggae is known for its socially conscious lyrics, addressing themes like socio-political issues, love, unity, and spirituality. Many reggae songs convey powerful messages of social justice and human rights, serving as a voice for the marginalized. Iconic figures like Bob Marley, pioneered reggae and used it to advocate peace and equality. Rooted in Jamaican culture, reggae has evolved into sub-genres like dancehall and dub, influencing not only music, but also promoting a lifestyle centered on peace, love, and unity. 
Its impact on global culture is evident in its ability to connect with diverse audiences and transcend borders. Artists like Bob Marley, an international symbol of reggae, exemplify the genre's universal appeal. His timeless classics, such as One Love and Redemption Song, continue to resonate globally, solidifying reggae's status as more than just music, but a cultural force inspiring positive change. Now that you guys have an idea about the type of music he was making, let's now explore his work, Joe Mercer's musical genius. Joe Mercer Marley made music that mixed different styles like pop, hip hop, EDM, and dancehall. His unique sound had cool lyrics and he could sing in different ways. He was inspired by reggae culture, family, and spiritual things, just like his dad and granddad. And because of all these characteristics, his fan base was strong too. One of his famous works is the comfortable EP. It showed how good he was at changing his style. The EP had fast DJing, and he could easily switch between different music styles. Joe Mercer didn't only stick to reggae, his music reached out to a wide audience with different tastes. And some of his tunes have really amazing origin stories too, which makes him even more of an interesting artist. For example, Joe Mercer created the catchy tune for Sunshine while singing to his baby sister Mia to make her stop crying. The song is a heartfelt expression of his feelings for the woman who brings brightness to his life. Joe described the song as the most personal on the EP, with rhymes flowing smoothly over a lively dancehall beat and soft guitar notes. In the lyrics, he compares their compatibility to the harmony of bass and treble and expresses optimism about their future together, mentioning the baby and the cradle. Joe released his first EP titled Comfortable in spring 2014 on the Marley family's label, Ghetto Youths International. And just so you know, it wasn't just for fun, he was serious about it. The EP featured five tracks with different styles like pop, hip hop, EDM, and dancehall. In one song called Bogus, produced by his uncle Damien Marley, Joe talked honestly about his experiences with fake relationships and how he wanted something real. This EP was a big deal for Joe, showing he was committed to his music journey with the support of his family. Now, when we talk about Mercer, we see how even a stranger would feel for him and mourn his loss. We cannot even think about his family and what they must have gone through. A deep loss for the family. For the Marley family, losing Joe Mercer wasn't just something they felt personally, but a harsh reminder of how fragile life can be. It echoed the timeless messages of love, unity, and resilience passed down by his legendary grandfather. Joe Mercer, carrying the Marley legacy, had a significant impact on reggae music, and his sudden departure left a gap in the story of the genre. The Marley family openly struggled with the emotional weight of this loss, evident in public expressions of grief and tributes pouring in from fans, fellow musicians, and the wider reggae community. This collective mourning was also evidence of Joe Mercer's influence and the lasting impact of the Marley name. In the aftermath of Joe Mercer Marley's passing, the reggae community came together to celebrate his life and contributions. His legacy lives on through the tunes he created and the unyielding spirit he brought to the stage, forever remembered as a crucial figure in the ongoing reggae narrative. Not to mention people poured in so much love for him and it was evident on his burial. Burial of Joe Mercer. Now you can imagine the scenes at the burial. Burying a young soul is not at all easy, especially for the parents. It's something that no one should have to do in their life. The Marley family had come to Jamaica to bid farewell to Joe Mercer Marley. As more than 50 family members landed at the Norman Manley International Airport in Kingston, carrying Joe Mercer's body with them, a sense of grief 
and pain was evident. One could feel the somberness and sadness in the air as they arrived. Because obviously, it was hard for everyone to believe that Joe Mercer, so young with a bright future, had left us so suddenly. According to the media, people were all praising Mercer and talking about their experiences with Mercer with tears rolling down their faces. Although it wasn't a big burial like celebrities usually have, but the impact was huge. It was like the world had lost Bob all over again. You can imagine the sorrow. And when you think of the little angel that he left behind, it just crushes your heart. People everywhere were feeling the loss and thinking about the family that now has to go through life without Joe Mercer by their side. As per the reports that came in, Joe Mercer, the first son of Stephen Marley and grandson of the legendary Bob Marley, was laid to rest on January 17th, 2023, in St. Anne. Before heading to Jamaica, a vigil had been held in Florida, where everyone paid tribute to Mercer Ghetto Youths International, the label founded by Stephen and his brothers, paid tribute to Joe Mercer as a strong, humble, talented, beautiful human being, and expressed gratitude for the outpouring of love from fans, friends, and colleagues. Olivia Grange, the Minister of Culture, Gender, Entertainment, and Sport, expressed her deep sadness, recognizing Joe Mercer's contribution to Jamaica's 60th anniversary celebrations earlier in the year. So you can really see that the artist, known for his significant impact on the music industry, left behind a legacy that endures through his music and the memories shared with those who knew and loved him. Reactions and tributes. The passing of Joe Mercer Marley resonated deeply within the music industry, evoking heartfelt reactions from fans, friends, and fellow musicians. The outpouring of grief and tributes highlighted the impact Joe Mercer had on the reggae community and beyond. Fans took to social media to express their sorrow, creating an online space to share memories and celebrate Joe Mercer's contributions to reggae music. The news of his untimely death sparked an emotional response, with fans expressing disbelief and condolences across various platforms. Within the music industry, fellow artists and friends paid tribute to Joe Mercer Marley, acknowledging his talent and the legacy of the Marley family in the world of reggae. Notable figures, including reggae musicians and Jamaican politicians, expressed their condolences, emphasizing the void left by Joe Mercer's departure. The reggae community also joined hands to commemorate Joe Mercer's life and musical journey. Shaggy, a renowned reggae artist, took to Instagram to share a picture of Joe Marley, offering condolences and prayers. The visible support from influential figures underscored the interconnectedness of the reggae fraternity and the collective sense of loss experienced. People from all over the world shared tributes. Now, even though Mercer wasn't a conventionally big star, he made a huge impact on people's lives. You can say that Joe Mercer Marley played a significant role in preserving and advancing the rich musical legacy of the Marley family. Bob must be smiling from the heavens at him. His contributions added a modern touch to reggae, appealing to both longtime reggae fans and newer generations of listeners. Throughout his career, Joe Mercer showcased his versatility by contributing the song Strictly Roots to the reggae band Morgan Heritage, earning recognition in 2015. Beyond his musical journey, Joe Mercer remained committed to preserving and advancing his grandfather's legacy. The unexpected loss of Joe Mercer wasn't just the departure of a talented reggae artist, it created a void in the ongoing musical story of the Marley family. Despite his relatively short career, Joe Mercer's legacy continues to inspire and resonate within the reggae community. His influence stands as a powerful testament to the lasting sway of the Marley name in the music world, proving that even in a brief period, he made a significant impact 
that echoes through the beats and rhythms of reggae. Keeping his memory alive ensures that his influence on reggae and the rich heritage of the Mali family continue to resonate for generations. Thank you for joining me on this journey to explore and honor the legendary life of Joe Mercer. Let's continue to cherish his memory and the invaluable contributions he made to reggae and beyond. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content like this. Until next time, take care and keep the music alive.